How to fix your internet connection Method 1 Simple Fixes 1. Restart your computer This may seem like a useless suggestion, but restarting your computer is often the easiest way to fix a vast majority of the issues you may be having. A simple reset will clear out bad settings which could be causing your connectivity issues, and if it doesn't help, it only took a minute. Restarting your computer will often also turn back on your internet adapter if it was off. 2. Ensure that your laptop's wireless adapter is enabled. Many laptops have a switch or button that turns the wireless adapter on and off. If you've accidentally pressed the button, your computer will disconnect from the network. Press the button or toggle the switch to turn your wireless adapter back on. You may have to hold the FN button in order to be able to press the Wi-Fi button. Skip this step on a desktop computer. 3. Restart your internet modem and router. The easiest way to do this is by unplugging both your modem and your router from their respective power sources, waiting for a few seconds, and plugging them back in. Like restarting your computer, this can solve the bulk of minor internet issues. 4. Perform a soft reset on your network. A soft reset causes your router and modem to clear their respective caches and refresh. You can usually perform a soft reset by pressing a power button on the front or side of your router. Many modems can also be soft reset in this manner. In some cases, you can soft reset your network by opening your router's page and clicking a reset button somewhere in the advanced or power options. 5. Perform a hard reset on your network. A hard reset causes your router and modem to forget all of your settings, restoring the network to its factory settings, including the factory network name and password. To perform a hard reset, you'll press and hold the reset button on the back of the modem for around 30 seconds, allow the modem to reboot, and perform the same step on the router. In most cases, the reset button is a recessed button on the back of the modem and router, meaning that you'll need to use a pen or a paperclip, or similar, to press the button. 6. Move closer to the router. Sometimes your computer or smartphone is too far away from the checkpoint to connect. Move closer to your router and try to connect again. 7. Make sure that you have a clear line of sight between you and the router. If you can't draw a line from your internet connected item to the router without passing through walls, appliances, furniture, or the like, your chances of maintaining a healthy internet connection deteriorate. The best way to ensure a healthy, consistent internet connection is by minimizing the number of obstacles between your internet item and the router slash modem. 8. Try using Ethernet. Connecting your computer or console to your router or modem via an Ethernet cable will both speed up your internet when it's working and help determine whether the issue is with your internet or your equipment. If your computer is able to connect to the internet while connected directly to the router, your computer's wireless reception is most likely the problem. If your computer is able to connect to the internet while connected directly to the modem, then the issue is likely caused by your router. If you cannot connect to the internet while connected directly to your modem, there is something wrong with the modem or with your internet service in general. You'll need to get in touch with your internet service provider's technical support line to fix modem related issues. Method 2 Advanced Fixes 1. Clear your computer's DNS cache. The DNS cache is responsible for recording website addresses as you access websites, which makes accessing those same websites later a faster process. However, as websites update their addresses, the DNS cache can become outdated, which causes errors. Clearing the DNS cache will resolve issues such as websites failing to load, especially if you can view the website in one browser but not another. To clear the DNS cache on a mobile item such as a smartphone or a tablet, simply restart the item. 2. Clear your browser's cache. Much like the DNS cache, your browser's cache makes loading previously visited sites faster, but it can also result in errors if the cache database becomes outdated. To stay relatively up to date, consider clearing your browser's cache once per month. 3. Try a different website or program. There's always a chance that the website you are trying to visit is currently down, or the program you are using is having server problems on its end. Try another website or online program to see if you can connect. Try another web browser if possible as well. For example, you may be having a problem with Chrome, whereas Firefox works fine. If just one of your web browsers is at fault, see the articles below for instructions on repairing it. Firefox Internet Explorer 
4. Repair your connection. There could be a software problem on your computer causing the connectivity problem. Both Windows and Mac computers have built-in repair tools that you can use to try to fix the issue. 1. Windows, press Win plus R greater than type in ncpa.cpl greater than click OK greater than right click your network adapter greater than click diagnose greater than follow any on-screen prompts. Mac, click the Apple menu image title MacApple1.png greater than click system preferences. Greater than click network greater than click assist me. Greater than click diagnostics greater than follow the on-screen prompts. 5. Boost your Wi-Fi signal. If the problems you're experiencing are signal related, it usually means that interference and distance are the main cause. There are several things you can do to help minimize interference and increase your network's range. Add a second router to extend the range. Increase your computer's Wi-Fi reception. Make your own directional cantenna for your wireless adapter. 6. Perform virus and malware scans. Viruses and other malicious computer infections may be hindering your ability to get online. You can usually eliminate viruses by using your computer's antivirus protection. 7. Contact your internet service provider. If all else fails, this is the best remaining course of action. Explain to your ISP the specific issues you are experiencing, and request someone to come and investigate the problem. Remember to be as calm and polite as possible, and do not take out your frustration on the company. If you have any question just comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, to get more updated videos.